thanks for joining us today on HXGN TV. I'm your host, Neville Judd, and today we're discussing how Hexagon Mining is helping customers to build a digital strategy. Joining me is Hexagon Mining President Elio Samora. Elio, thanks for joining me. Hey, Neville, thank you for having me here. My pleasure. Elio, you travel the world visiting mines, talking to technology users in the mines. What are the recurring problems that, that most frequently come up, the most common challenges that mines are facing? Uh, I would say I can mention two uh, important topics. Mines are in the tremendous pressure to reduce costs of production. Right. And they're also in the tremendous pressure to reduce uh, safety incidents. Both affect productivity, both affect bo uh, their bottom line. So right. that is a common, uh, common challenge they, they, they have in the industry today. Um, um, uh, it's good that Exagon Mining has solutions to help them in both fronts. Right. So there are numerous mining analysts out there, Deloitte and McKinsey, to name but two, that stress the importance of a digital strategy for mines to adopt. How is Hexagon Mining helping companies uh, uh, with, with building that, that strategy in yeah. some of the ways? That, that's a good question. Um, <clears throat> mines uh, had found out that the way that they are operating needs to be improved. Uh, to do that, they need to, to uh, to invest in digital solutions or technologies that digitalize the mine. But to digitalize the mine, you need to build your digital strategy. Uh, and Hexagon Mine is well positioned to uh, help them to, uh, to build this digital strategy. We have most, if not all, the pieces necessary to build a digital strategy. If you include our solutions from Geosystem, from IDS, connected to Hexagon Mining solutions, we have uh, uh, the biggest uh, portfolio of digital uh, automation solutions for mining. And then uh, we help them to, to realize value through their uh, technology investments. We help them since they start exploration uh, till the day they are shutting down the mine. So we have solutions uh, that help them to build a digital strategy, to deliver the digital strategy that is a digital mine, where data can flow from planning to operations for safety, back and forth, with no restrictions, with uh, access to uh, information, to reports, uh, an analyzing the data. So you have multiple solutions that help them to, do, uh, to operate better, to reduce their cost of production, and to operate in a safer way. That's the reason we exist. That's the reason we are, uh, the customers continue to invest heavily in our technology. Now, recently you've added uh, a mobile, a mo mobility element to those solutions. Tell me a little bit about um, the acquisition of MyPlan and what that brings to uh, the portfolio. Yeah, MyPlan was a very good acquisition for us because it, they complemented our uh, technology uh, in several areas. But the, the one that you mentioned, mobility, uh, is critical. We all know that the, we are living in the mo mobile uh, era. Everybody has a a tablet, a cell phone, and we assess data, we consume data in a different way today in our personal lives. Mines are not different. So uh, the mobility mine uh, allows people to take decision faster because they, they can assess data and information uh, and react fast to the changes that uh, happen every day in every mine. Mm -hmm. So the mine plan acquisition brought to us a set of uh, pre-developed applications from drill and blast, from fleet management, from reporting uh, and others that allows uh, the customers to uh, leverage all the information that flows inside the mine. And they can consume that in a mobile device such as a cell phone, a tablet, uh, and then they can react fast and be more productive. Right. Now, no digital strategy is complete without a solid safety portfolio. You've recently introduced the industry's first vehicle intervention system. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that and how it works. This is really a, uh, we are the first company in the planet to build a vehicle intervention solution that brings safety to a, uh, a new level. Uh, the vehicle intervention will react if the, the operator doesn't react to a CAS alarm. CAS stands for collision avoidance system. Yep. If the system beeps and the uh, the operator doesn't react, the vehicle intervention system will take control of the vehicle, reduce the speed, or eventually uh, apply the uh, services brake and stop the vehicle right. to avoid accident, to avoid uh, 
to pre prevent accident, to protect asset, but more important, to protect people. It's a unique uh, technology that we develop and we are already deploying that in mines, all, uh, especially in South Africa, where this is be mandatory uh, very, very soon. Right. And while we're on the subject of human assist products, uh, reverse guidance solution is another one that's being worked on. Tell me a little bit about how that's going to benefit clients. Look, reverse guidance is another uh, technology that uh, we are bringing to the market to improve productivity. There is a metric that we did, uh, that we collect in the industry that over, well, mine with 50 trucks, they, they, they lose $200,000 per week in his spot timing. <laughs> it's, uh, it means that the driver missed the, the, the position to, to, to do the load and they need to respot the truck. So you multiply that by 50 trucks, in a week that represents $200,000. This technology, based on GPS guidance and with visual uh, uh, support to the operator, uh, allows the operator to, uh, to park exactly where the load needs to be done. So this is going to reduce the, this $200,000 per week and going to bring a lot of benefits for the productivity. Mm -hmm. So we save minutes every week, every day, every month. This multiplied by tons and tons and tons uh, of production every year. Right. So reverse guidance, vehicle intervention, these sound like the first steps on an on a autonomous roadmap, I yeah. guess. Uh, yeah. the, the, you are completely right. We do have a very uh, interesting autonomous roadmap. Uh, VIS is the first step. Reverse guidance is the second step. Both are being released uh, as we speak. Uh, and the next one is auto uh, steer, followed by auto spot, then autopilot, and f uh, lately uh, the full autonomous. This is a great strategy. If you remember that there are 90,000 vehicles in the world that can be equipped with solutions like that, uh, we can start uh, to make mining better with our semi-autonomous solution till the day the mine is ready to go for a full autonomous solutions uh, that we can uh, o uh, offer as well. Right. And finally, um, Hexagon Mining invests heavily in research and development. I know something like 20% of revenue. Um, yeah. Sometimes you go the acquisition route. Give us a glimpse of the roadmap uh, in full for Hexagon Mining. Very good. So your question has two very interesting uh, <coughs> points. One is uh, our roadmap. We, are in, we invest more than 20% of our revenues in research and development. We, ha we have several development going on in underground uh, solutions for fleet management and also for planning. We have uh, investments going in autonomous, as uh, we already discussed. We have investments going in our planning solutions to make them, uh, the solution more, um, more agile, more f uh, easy to deploy. So we are investing heavily to make our existing solutions and our new solutions uh, uh, better. But also, uh, we are looking around for acquisitions that can could complement our footprint. Right. So th this, is, this is one of the strengths that Hexagon has, and we, uh, in mining, we, are, we explore that, uh, that spin as well to make the business more, uh, more agile, more strong, and have a bigger footprint in technology into mining. Elio, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Nev, to have me here. It's always a, always a pleasure. So we'd like to thank our guest, Elio Samora, for joining us. If you'd like to learn more about Hexagon Mining Technologies, visit hexagonmining.com. And to watch additional episodes of HXGN TV, visit hxgntv.com. Thanks for watching.